All right, so how do you figure out what number is between one half and one? So how are we gonna do that? It might be fairly easy to use a number line to do this, but the way I like to do it, it's kind of a more general approach that works with all kinds of different fractions and numbers here. So let's try it. We use this general formula. Basically what we do is we add these together, one half plus one here, and then we take half of it. We're pretty much just finding the average. So let's fill this in. And what we need to do, we have our one half times one half plus one. So we need to add the one half and the one here together. Probably the easiest way is to say one half times our one half. And instead of one, we can just call this two over two. Two divided by two, that's still one. It's just now that we have our denominators here, they're the same, and we need to do that so we can add our fractions. So we end up with one half times, let's see, one plus two, that's three. So we add the numerators and then we're adding fractions, the denominators, since they're the same, we just bring that right across there. And now we have one times three, that's three. Two times two, that's four. So in answer to our question, between one half and one, exactly between one half and one, is the fraction three fourths. In this general formula, you can use it to figure that out. You could look at a number line, again, probably reason it out from there, but this is pretty useful in mathematics. It's Dr. B, thanks for watching.